Hi there, my name is Kate. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can subscribe to ChatGPT. You can decide whether you want to subscribe or not, what the upgrade will bring to you, and is it worth it? Because you know that now you can use ChatGPT absolutely for free. And if you want to upgrade, you can actually pay to get this upgrade. But let me show you how it's done and what upgrades you will receive if you do so. So when you first log in to ChatGPT, this is how your page will look like. This is uh, a free version of ChatGPT, which is now is based on GPT 3.5. So I want you to understand that ChatGPT and GPT itself, it's kind of different things. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. This is a fancy way to say that this is a kind of program that has been trained on massive amount of data to understand how people use language. So ChatGPT is based on this GPT. But it's not only this. As for now, in the free version, we have GPT 3.5 available. But as you know, we already have GPT 4. Actually, yesterday we had a birthday of this GPT 4. And it's crazy that it's been only 10 days, but we already... I don't know. I, I feel that the world has changed and it is changing every second. If you want to use GPT-4, you need to upgrade. And that's not all. If you click here, upgrade to plus, you can see that your current plan is free. But if you want ChatGPT plus, it will cost you $20 per month. So what are the differences? You can see that ChatGPT Plus is available even when demand is high, it has faster response speed. You also get priority access to new features. And let me show you what it means. If you decide to buy a subscription to the ChatGPT Plus, the first thing that you will see is this uh, models. So now, instead of just having the default GPT 3.5, now you can choose GPT 4. As you can see, although GPT 3.5 is faster, yeah, it's only two points for GPT 4 and five points for GPT 3.5, the GPT 4 has five points for reasoning, versus just three points for uh, the previous version. And it has four points for conciseness versus just two points with the previous version. And it means that you will get better results with GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5. So with this subscription, the first thing that you have is the access to GPT-4. And this is really great. You can see that uh, GPT-4 is more creative. It can work with longer context. One thing though, if you are looking at this page and just reading about what GPT-4 has to offer, you can see visual input, but for now, visual input is not available for ChatGPT. Developers who has the access to API can use this visual input feature to work with GPT-4, but if you use just ChatGPT, you cannot, unfortunately, you cannot work with visual input. And I know that many of us expect this, when buying the subscription, but unfortunately, no. So if the visual input was that one thing that made you buy the subscription, you will be disappointed. But I actually think that they will add the access to visual inputs quite soon for all the subscribers. And I think maybe in a few weeks, <laughs> hopefully in a few months, probably we will be able to work with pictures as well. This video is not about how GPT-4 is better than GPT-3.5, because I think you already know that it is better. I mean, it's next version. Of course, it is better. And with the subscription, you get the access to this newest version of GPT. But let me show you one thing. 
As you can see, and you will not see this when you are buying subscription, you will only see this when you complete your purchase. So here you can see that GPT-4 currently has a cap of 25 messages every three hours. It is now. I don't know what will happen in a week, in a month. Right now we have this cap, 25 messages within three hours. Is it enough? It depends. But you don't have any cap with the free version. So if you go and choose, instead of the four, you choose GPT 3.5, you will not have the cap. We can do some calculations here. So let's say we have 24 hours per day and you sleep for eight hours and you probably will not be available another two hours because you know, you eat, do things. So you have like 14 hours per day that you can work on your computer. For example, if you, if you really need to, right? Divided by three, it's almost five. That means that we can multiply 25 by five and 125 messages. That's all that you got per day. And remember that working with AI means that you need to clarify details. You need to explain some things it will not understand correctly, even when you are trying to be as specific as you can be. I'm not saying that a hundred messages per day is not enough. Maybe it is enough. But I just want you to know that this is what you're going to have for $20 per month. But that's not all. Uh, you not only get access to GPT-4, you also will have priority access to new features. For example, as you heard, OpenAI presented plugins. And now only a few people have the access to plugins. It's the people who joined the waitlist quite a time ago, but the next ones who will have the access will be people with the subscription. If you decide to upgrade though, you may face one little teeny tiny complication, which I faced. So for example, you click here, but you don't see this green button. You see that it is gray and you cannot click on it because they don't have available capacities. So they actually kept the subscriptions uh, while they are upgrading their equipment. I don't know uh, what's happening there inside OpenAI, but it is what it is. A few days ago, I was trying to buy ChatGPT Plus and this button was gray. Today it is green, yesterday it was green as well. But you're watching this video right now, you can check. Maybe it's not available again. But what I'm trying to say is that you don't need to worry about it. Uh, just wait for a day, maybe a few hours, just check it and you will be able to buy the subscription. If you want to know what I think, I think that, yeah, you should buy the subscription, even for a month, because you can, again, you can switch between the models. You can compare the results. And if you didn't find any differences between these two models, maybe the free plan will be okay for you. But I, I promise that you will see the difference. And the last thing, if you are a developer and you are interested in getting the access to GPT-4 API, then you can join the waitlist. You just need to put your name, email, organization ID. Uh, I'm going to show you where you can find it. We just click here to open your account settings. And here you can see your organization ID. So you just copy it, paste it here, answer a few questions and join the waitlist. And if you are interested in the pricing of using this API, then I'm going to show you right here. You go to product pricing and then scroll down. And here you can see that uh, the pricing is per 1000 tokens. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what plan you use. 
Do you use ChatGPT? If not, why not? <laughs> I want to know. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.